I'd like to tell you about physical properties of materials. This is a book published in 2011 by CRC Press. Why did I write a book like this? I began to wonder one day why it is we don't teach our students in chemistry and physics and engineering some of the more interesting aspects of science. How do photocopiers work? How do printers work? The things around us that we use as consumer products, what are the interesting materials behind those? At the same time, we were having a review of our curriculum in the Department of Chemistry where I teach. And I decided to propose a new course on properties of materials. And I began to teach that course. I taught it for quite a few years, never intending to write a textbook. I began to get invitations from people asking me if I would come and talk to their universities about courses like this. And then people kept asking me, could they have my notes? Well, the most reasonable thing to do seemed to be to write them up as a book. So that became a book. Now we see the second edition, Physical Properties of Materials. This book is meant to be a third year course at the undergraduate level for students in chemistry, physics, or engineering. The main difference from engineering materials courses is the approach is atomic and molecular. The main difference from ordinary chemistry and physics courses is that it is so engaging with things around us that make use of materials. The book takes the basic principles of materials and their physical properties, starting with optical properties, the beauty of things that we see in their colors around us, and thermal properties, electronic properties, magnetic properties, and mechanical properties, and explains those at an atomic basis. This is the basis from which chemists and physicists are used to thinking about materials. But they're not so used to thinking about those applications. And through this course and this textbook, I think we have brought to students an opportunity to learn things about how the other courses in their program relate to their learning of materials. This is really a physical approach. I've taught this course to many hundreds of chemistry, physics, and engineering students over the years. And they've liked the approach where we learn some of the basic principles and then go to look to see how those things are applied in everyday life. One of the areas of application is by looking at tutorials, kind of reverse engineering some of the materials around us and then applying the basic principles that we've just learned as to how those materials work.